chase and just meet him halfway with the forward air. Still throwing out the key, changing the, the direction and really the speed in which he was falling, throwing off his opponent. Yeah, and another thing too is uh, it can be pretty tricky to uh, to whiff punish the down air from game watch. It's still very doable, but it, the, the hitbox is deceivingly large. And just like that, 43% off that combo. And man, another thing too is that neutral B ledge trapping is so strong from Game Watch. You are standing at a very safe distance. You're standing at the roll area. It covers roll. It covers multiple options, and you can combo off of it. Combo. I've seen Game Watches <laughs> kill off of neutral B ledge trapping. That's so strong for okay. how safe it is. We're charging up the up smash, but Cosmos not getting taunted into another uh, smash attack. Dash attack going to connect, going so deep. Landing a back air of his own, Cosmos able to put a small reversal in his situation in his favor. Okay, Cosmos getting the ink on to Meister here. Finally getting this jab. Meister looking for this kill here, the up smash. There's the whiff punish on the down air I was talking about. It, like I said, it can be hard, but Cosmos is definitely a caliber of a player that can do such things. Oh, wow. wow! Wow! Getting the drag down with the back air and then what? finishing off the stock with the up B. Hit him with the trampoline, boys! Up B just killed. Somebody. <laughs> Yo, we can't this say that. This move does it all. We can't say it doesn't kill anymore. <laughs> this move does it all. He oh. literally dragged down Baird into Upbeat and killed him off stage. This move does everything. Okay, and you're applying so much pressure with the forward air. Yeah, you can't roller on Game Watch's shield. He's going to hit the ejection button. He can grab you. He's got plenty of options to make sure that he does not have that paint on him. Man, and look at this. This is definitely a very different set from the last tournament they played at Full Bloom being very, very long time ago. And man, I gotta say, the, the Meister Glow Up is real right now. You know, it's looking like really close to the first set that we saw earlier in Winners Finals. Uh, yeah, it just, Meister I, just had like such a commanding lead and he still has that commanding lead right now. You're gonna go up throw into, you know, a neutral air. Honestly, I just feel like Meister has all the answers. Oh wait, so he got the six. Will the nine follow? Oh. The sacred combo? The sacred combo. <laughs> the sacred setup. <laughs> But it's just, I feel like Meister has every like option and he knows how he's going to take out Cosmos, but Cosmos just doesn't have an answer to take out Meister. He doesn't have like these ways to kill Meister. Finally, the back throw does it. But if you have Game & Watch living these high of a percent, that's such a problem. This character's so light. That's true. Well, okay, the down air does connect and actually beat out Meister's recovery. Only putting a little bit of damage and not really putting Meister in a horrible situation. Meister able to make it back to stage, throwing a couple forward airs to the up air, does connect at 147%. I think even the chair is going to be enough to take the stock. Oh, yeah. The, the forward tilt from Game Watch is actually very, very strong. And he comes out so fast. Yep, I don't even know what hit him. That was forward air. That was forward air? Yeah. So Cosmos hit Game & Watch, but he did not hit the bomb. That bomb is, like, pretty good, but it's not – I wouldn't say it's broken in a sense because if Cosmos' dash attack hit the bomb, which is probably what he was going for, mm -hmm. um, it actually, like, just negates the bomb. So – you can actually just hit that bomb and you it, you won't like trade with it or anything. It's not like a snake grenade or anything like right, that. Right, right, right. But it's still a uh, pretty decent tool in terms of like covering an area and stuff like that. Pretty good setup tool. Especially Even a decent, neutral like, like shield pressure too. Yeah, yeah, you're just like fading back. Forcing them to kind of like throw out an option. Maybe you'll come in with a whiff punish hey, after or something. The respect me move? Yeah, the respect nice. me move, yeah. It, I want to call it like a check, you know. <laughs> kind of throw it out and like, oh, if it hits, like solid. If not, like. It's not too risky, you know what I mean? That's right, okay, well, we're here on game two, and we're seeing a stage that we haven't really seen too often. We see Kalos yeah, coming from Cosmos. A single time in this top four. Yeah. All right, so um, Cosmos gonna look, look for a just bigger stage, and you know, bigger in terms of blast zone and in terms of space as well. Of course, we have those two platforms on the side, and the wall jump access, so the stage just, just shoots all the way down, so no going underneath the stage or anything like that. And can I have access to wall jumps? I, I think, I definitely know Game Watch doesn't have a wall jump. No, he doesn't. I don't think, I don't know if Inkling has one. I or don't not. believe Inkling has one. Yeah. He still has, you know, good recovery, though. Right, right, right. Oh, okay, there's that yeah. down air, so good at covering uh, recoveries. There's the back air, sticky spot, but Inkling's still able to make it back. Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. This recovery is broken, ladies and gentlemen. Broken. He literally, like, went through, like, three reps of getting buried. Okay, well, that's just going to outright kill him, though. Yeah, I mean, Speedy the Wonder Turtle, you know, he does a lot. He's got a few tricks. Okay. Now, I, I know the uh, the up throw up air range is around, like, it starts at, like, 93 or 94-ish. Uh-huh. So, right now, it's online. If he gets the grab, it will be the stock. But 
Really Sec good stuff. Yeah, second down smash to connect for Cosmos, and that's going to clean up the stock. This is, I think, the closest game we've seen between these two. Yeah, with the disjoint as well on that down smash, it really helped him to cover that let's drop double jump Nair option. And Nair is a pretty big disjoint itself, so the fact that he outranged that is pretty impressive from Cosmos. Okay, there's the back air, back air into up throw. Tries to baby, like he didn't go um, Nair bear, try to bait out something, but that, that down aired man, that hitbox is so large, it can really catch you off guard. Back hit, the last hit of back air connecting, and then, okay, good pair, and trying to get the dash attack, doesn't find it. We can see an up throw into a, okay, there's, there's an air into a back air. Yeah, you were just mentioning that. Yeah, the, uh, oh, wait, we're good. We have double jump. Okay. Uh, another thing, too, is Cosmos is doing a lot better job. Wow, just out of range of that. <laughs> He's doing a lot better job of whiff punishing these aerials. Uh, we see Meister throwing out back air in neutral. Uh, on a short hop, you can definitely whiff punish it as uh, inkling, which is why I think he picked a bigger stage as well in terms of Kalos. It gives him a lot more room to run around and get these whip punches. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That I was believe. not fast. I Are agree you with you, wow. but that <laughs> just Jeez. getting Cosmos off stage and then hitting him with another back air. Zola <laughs> needs to take out that sock. I'm so surprised that up smash was not quick enough to punish that aerial. And Cosmos is going to, you know, die for that, essentially. Now Meister racking up his damage, something that uh, Game Watch is not a stranger to at these low percents. That's true. Another Nair lands into an up air and even taking out a little bit of extra damage with the up B. Meister sitting pretty in the red zone at the same time cosmos 53 percent and look at how safe meister can play with this lead with the stock lead and i mean he's also gaining a lot of percent as well just look at fade back forward air see a lot of neutral bees if he's just able to fade back and then just use shield as a last resort option it's gonna be so big catches the roll with the backside of downside is still not enough and he continues to just recover low which we've already seen is like very difficult to try and guard against just spacing out these back airs is not really working out, but it forces Meister to let to a uh, roll center stage. Cosmos is ready, and now we can see the back throw? I don't think it's going to kill him. Yeah, I mean, and that's a, that's still another thing as well, that just throughout this set and the last set too, we see Meister consistently getting to the 150 mark. Mm -hmm. That time we just saw him get to 200 as Game & Watch, one of the lightest characters in the entire game. I mean, so that just really goes to show like how good his defense is. It really that's just... True, that's true, that's you know I mean, uh, true. A slight assist from, from Carlos Ooh, as well, but damn. yeah, pairing that us match, putting a little bit of ink onto Meister. Do not get hypnotized again, Cosmos. Ooh, right. I like that. Using the jab to cover the spot dodge, and even if he doesn't spot dodge, the jab was still quick enough to catch all those other options. I like that from Cosmos. Yeah, I think it comes down to just the way that you know Cosmos is trying to weave around Meister's aerials. And with this rage, this is actually looking like pretty good here for Cosmos. We see him not Go for the up throw because he doesn't want to stale or mess up anything with it. So just going for that, trying to get him into the range, putting him on the ledge here, gets the down smash, and it could be in, I, I believe he's in an up throw up air range. Now he's out of it, especially with the rage, but oh, what was that? Unfortunate SD. Doesn't even, he doesn't even, he doesn't even have know. His, yeah. He doesn't even know. And I, I, you know what, though, if you're Cosmos, you take that straight to the bank. You need some some kind of momentum at this point. He, this man true. has won four straight games against you. That's true. You need something to get you going. Just punch that ticket in. Just start the hype train. Get it rolling, Cosmos. Now remember, Meister is in the winner's side of Grands. He just has to close out one set to punch the ticket straight in the Summit 2 for Ultimate. Um, and uh, Cosmos, he's going to have to get two of these sets to get his ticket in. And only one of them get a Man, ticket, so. Cosmos got to work hard because Meister is making him work. Oh, like, yeah. He's putting him through the training grounds, taking him all over our legal stage list. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now final destination is the pick, counter pick here for Meister. Okay, going to catch the spot dodge with the dash grab. Now Cosmos not going to have any platform extensions uh, for any of these up throw combos or even just getting that you know, up throw up here on a platform, you can get the kill a lot earlier because it's, you know, risen up. Yeah, but Cosmo's doing a great job. Already putting Meister at 88%. Okay, but here comes the low game, low percent game watch combos. Oh, wow, whiffing the dash guard right in the face of Meister. And, wow, look at that. Look at that damage output, man. Just from the up, the out of shield. <laughs> there and up. And even oh, after he's throwing out the up uh, hitting Cosmos with the up he throws a forward air just in case Cosmos tries to punish with a forward air of his own. Right. And he just completely covers that space as Meister recovers to the ground. Ooh, that, both those back airs were so close to connecting, man. 
Yeah, but you know what? Meister has the same idea. He knows exactly what Cosmos is going for. I like that Cosmos is positioning himself to get away from the down air edge guards, but Meister follows through with the bomb edge guards instead. Okay, the down smash is going to eat up the bomb. Okay, wow, up air. And look at this, just still juggling. And up air and nair from Game Watch is so clean for juggling, but Cosmos sinking real low and fast falling even to get that back air, and it was so worth it. Here's the back air into rapid jab, just putting a little bit of ink, but just packing on a little bit more ink onto Meister. That's the one strong thing about falling back air in that particular situation on the ledge trap because you catch normal get up and jump, and if they roll, oh, like as I back air, like cool, I'm seeing you roll, right, going to the jab or the grab. <laughs> Okay, setting up the neutral B, getting a good oh, amount of damage. Man. Not getting the, the spot, the hit he wanted. Uh, Meister sending Cosmos off stage, but another back air is still going to be able to make it back. Yeah, and there's no double jump as well. Meister going for that two frame, but Cosmos able to make it back onto the stage. Get a whiff punish on this back air. No. Oh, I like that. Jumping right over the bomb as well. Yeah, but a second bomb landing onto Cosmos, going real deep. Meister is not afraid to go off stage and try and chase Cosmos down. Okay, still Meister rocking. Wow. That and was smooth. Yeah, Nair right into the down tilt, man. And that was definitely a true combo, it looked like to me, at least. So I mean, it was really very tricky. Convert. That that Nair has like very little little lag. Yeah, it kind of just hit him right there. Right yeah, it's kind of pushed him in prime position. All right, well, at least Cosmos has no rage. So the uh, up throw up air setup will be online now, I believe, if he gets the grab. Yeah, yeah. I see him fishing for it. This should be it here if we reacted correctly. No, he is able to up be out, but that was definitely Cosmos messing up. If he did it like perfectly, he would have got that. Yeah, and I like the way that Cosmos is actually starting to use the roller even uh, while Meister is recovering because it just puts Ink in, on the ground in a position where if Meister does in fact roll on the stage, he's going to be slowed down. It's going to make it a little bit easier for Cosmos to try and like cross him up or you know approach. And look at this damage off this ledge trap. Oh and no way! The spike to follow as well. Meister is just on a roll right now. Dude. On a roll and just one game away from advancing, winning Nightmare on Smashville and getting his invite to Smash Ultimate Summit 2. Yeah, he could uh, definitely be joining MK Leo, an, a fellow player from the country of Mexico. So uh, that would be really big. You, you already know Leo's probably uh, rooting on for Meister, both of them, of course, being from Mexico. So. Man, this is uh this is it here for Cosmos. We got a he's got to win two shutout, more. Man. He's got to win two more before he can even have any room to breathe. Uh, a chance. Yeah, to get another set. <laughs> and it's just it's it's been looking so rough here for Cosmos. I still agree with the uh, the Callus counter pick. No DSR here, just two bands, six stages uh, here in the uh, SoCal rule set. And look at the way that Meister is starting to use these nares. We saw it a lot in last game where he was throwing out Nair early just to land the last hit so he can convert. Oh, wow. I actually thought that down smash was going to land. Yeah, it, we haven't seen uh, Meister get the two frame quite yet against Cosmos, but I know he's very proficient at just getting the two frames in general with that down smash. So let's trap here. The jab does not connect here. Yeah, charging that up smash, but Cosmos, wise decision, just, just jump right over it. Yeah, go for an aerial. Yeah. If, if you miss time it, like your aerials are safe anyway. There's a trade here, really good trade on the multi hit for Cosmos. Ooh. There's that drag down there, and trying to set up for that down tilt again. But Cosmos with the jump buffer, getting right out of that situation. Ooh, this time going for the grab. Oh, okay, trying to close the stock with the forward air, but these up bees can be very difficult to deal with. The key not enough to take a stock. Callow saving him from the key, but not. From the turtle, and just like that, Meister is going to go up a stock here. Game number four, if he's able to win this, he is going to summit. That's true, but he's got two more stocks to, do, to go through before uh, that's the reality. Okay. There's, the, there's the approaching Ooh. with wow, the yeah. Nair. But, well, yeah. So that is a prime example of Game & Watch dying at a percent he should be dying at, around 100%. <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, just being real, because that... <laughs> Game Watch is extremely light. Like bottom three or like top three lightest characters in the game, I believe. I forgot that he could die at that percent. Yes. This was, with the way that Meister has been playing, the percent that he's been living to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You almost forget yeah. when you see Meister's <laughs> defense applied to the character. But I've seen Game Watch die at 60 like 
easily. <laughs> like, oh, you were super dead there. <laughs> okay, where there's the up throw into up air, only getting a single up air and then trying to retreat. Whiff punish on the down air. Now, cause again, another whiff punish as well. Going for another one on that back air. I think Cosmos is starting to dial in on the strategy. I mean, I think like he really knows, he has the knowledge on how to punish these whiffed moves coming from Meister. It's really just being in the correct position and getting his engine started. For the up air here, Cosmo still holding the center stage. He has a very small lead. So he definitely can cap it out a little bit. Ooh, okay, that was bait. That dodge. was so bait. He definitely tried to get a spot dodge, though. Cosmos felt like the spot dodge was coming, but the straight shield right here for Meister gonna get him the lead. A little bit more control over this match as well. The full, wow, the fair bomb does connect here. That's true. You know what? We're not really seeing the, the narrow approaches coming from Meister anymore. Down smash is gonna connect for Cosmos. That's gonna put Meister on the other side of the stage. Throwing out a few back airs. Are we gonna see the back throw? Yeah, back throw, up throw, up air is offline because of the rage from Cosmos. Goes for the edge guard. Gets the forward air on the comeback. Ooh. Barely surviving though. That's right. Meister's still on his second stock. Oh, that but that's that's oh what? no directional air dodge. What? I don't know what you were saying about Game of Watch dying at 100. We're back at 160. That if, must have been a fluke. If Cosmos did like one or two pummels, he was dead. I'm so maybe he just tried to get his DI off or he just thought it was a sure kill, but man, that's a that's tough. That's and right. now, now he's the, dead. Yep, dash attack. Gonna hit below the ledge, catches the two frame. Cosmos on his last, what could possibly be his tournament stock. Yeah, and what could be the ticket here for Meister going straight into Summit. Let's see if he can close this out. He's already got 42%. Being on the platform typically is, you know, a good position, you know. Jeez. Game Watch doesn't really have too much he can Whoa. do for you, but oh my, okay. Going so deep, oh, no way! Dead. Wow, he gets it, man, and he is going to Summit, Meister with the pop-off, man. Really, really great stuff. Really great showing, and the crowd is popping off. We got a round of applause for the Game & Watch main himself. That's right. Meister, of course, winning Nightmare on Smashville. And now, not only did he win the tournament, he made it. Yeah. He's in the summit. And look at that. Champ announcing it. Champ, the GOAT. Now, Meister booking his way right into Summit <laughs> via skill. And that's, that, that's, that's the always, best way to make it. That's a, that's a good feeling right there. <laughs> Didn't have to eat any eggs or, or do a Smash 4 stream or anything like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, no, that had to be the worst, the <laughs> Smash 4 stream. <laughs> yeah, I can't even imagine. <laughs> yes, oh, he gets a victory speech? Yo, victory Let's go, speech. Meister. And he just, he played it so damn good, man. And that whole last sock, the ledge trapping was so oppressive. Like, the most impressive part for me was that he was utilizing the Nair approach, just spacing out so that the last hit of Nair would connect, right. and then he would be able to convert into another Nair, into an up air, into a B, yada, yada, yada. But then he changed it at the end of game three. It came down to where Cosmos was on his last stock, and he started to take a grounded approach. Right. Yeah. It was really, really good. And again, that last game, we just saw him living forever. I mean, right? And just... I just feel he, like he when only died one time at the correct, quote, correct percents. Right, exactly. <laughs> and that just really goes to show you just the the defense on this man is so, so good. He, he's able to really get incredible stock mileage with a character that is so light. And it's, it's not easy to do. And no, he just, no, it's not he, easy at all. He, he plays so safe. He knows, and like even when he's playing really safe, he knows how to set up situations where he's getting like these 40% strings and... Just his ledge trapping as well was so, so strong with that neutral B and was just able to really not cause him to play the game for, for some time. Like, the perfect example was the last stock of the last game we just yeah, watched. Yeah, just had him just in he was on the, on the platform. The whole he was time. Just throwing up airs. The whole time. Keep him at the ledge. Like, so, so good. Such a talented player. Man, I'm telling you, man. Mexico has a lot of great players, and very, you know, very talented. Team. From what I've heard, like a lot of them started working on getting their their passports, their, the correct documentation, just so that they could, in fact, start coming out to more of these events. And now, I think the rest of the world is starting to see just how strong of a player they are. All right, man. Well, we're gonna have Meister come up for an interview. Did you want to do the honors? Or? You can do it. All right. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you got it. All right. So it. I'm Two G Z Fly. Uh, Y'all already know who it is. You can see me Wednesday nights on uh, 2G Gaming, of course. I'll see you all later. All right, so we got Meister coming up to the plate for an interview. But yeah, the, the very, 
Very intense tournament, of course. Uh, like we were saying the whole time, the uh, last chance qualifier spot was up for the uh, up for the take, and right. Meister was the one What's to up? take it. What's up, man? Congratulations! <laughs> you played you. phenomenal. Really, really good stuff. Whew, thank you, man. So, uh, how did it feel, man? I mean, there was a lot on the line, right? Yeah. I mean, a lot. usually it's just the money or the PGR rankings, right? But this is something that was all that and more for you. Yeah. Right? Well, basically. I, I think I choked at Big House because I was overthinking it. I was like, oh my god, it's Summit. Oh my god, it's Summit. Right, right, And that's right. why I choked. Because I was up 2-0 against Sakurai. But this tournament, I went like, eh, you know what? If I win, it's okay. If I lose, it's also okay. I'll have another chance. And right, right. I think that helped with my mentality. Right, because especially when you're, when you're thinking of like, oh man, I really have to win. And just that pressure alone, it can really sometimes make it you like not win right you yeah just, it's so overwhelming and even just being in a position where you're up 2-0 and then like you lose that one game right yeah exactly. and then like the downward spiral starts to like starts to click in your brain you're like man what if i get reverse 3-0 like, that would <laughs> that would suck <laughs> that's like, if exactly... i get reverse 3 0 and not get in the summit <laughs> like that would be the worst thing ever so and then it happens the only thing i thought this time was all right if i choke this time that way then i've choked twice already because it would have been big house and this time so i was like nah. Enough. But see, that's really good though because you came in with the mentality of like, okay, this is how I thought in this situation, right? Yeah. I'm gonna come into this situation with a different approach, mm -hmm. and yeah. you even even if it happened again, you can be like, okay, this approach and this approach didn't work. Let's go with for another one, right? Mm -hmm. So Correct. that's, that's I, I really like that uh, mentality <laughs> coming, <laughs> <Bro>. coming in. <laughs> Don't stop, please. <laughs> Cosmos, My story is dead. Oh dang. I am now. Going to summit oh, by default by dis disqualification. <laughs> disqualification. It's unfortunate. The the RIP disqualification. Yeah, yep. Like See RIP Meister. <laughs> right there. RIP Meister. Uh, well, you know what though? Cosmos won't be competing at summit, but we'll still see Cosmos at summit as he jacks all the candy on the table. <laughs> so he uh he is still gonna be at summit, but not as a competitor. But I mean, for you, you didn't have that cushion, right? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So it, like, it, I feel like it was still. More pressure, more so on your part, but you still kept it cool. Like you said, win or lose, you're going to go in with that, this fresh mentality of not too much pressure, just you want to play your best. Yeah, correct. Uh, the thing is, um, this weekend, I was supposed to go with my girlfriend to her city, but I was like, ah, right, here's the plan. So don't get me wrong. I want to go. <laughs> hear me out. Yeah, like, hear me out. Hear like, me listen, out, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I want to go, but I want to go to Summit way more. And she, she understands, obviously. Right, right. So and what I thought was, okay, if I lose, I still get to chill with my girlfriend. If I win, I get to go to Summit. So win-win. Yeah, best of all the worlds. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, that's what life's about. You got to set up those win-win situations. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Summit is so much more than a tournament too, right? It's a, it's, it's a big grind fest. You get to like, you get to grind with all these top level players and you know, they feed you, you just drinks and food all day long. So it's really, really comfortable. They really take care of you. The tournament's huge, the pot is huge. And like the exposure itself, like oh, the, yeah. views, the views on Summit, the amount of eyes that are on Summit, right? Yeah. You really get to expose yourself as a player and you get to expose your brand as well, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. you get, what? <laughs> oh, okay, Cosmo's taking more candy. It's Snickers, let's go. But you, you get to expose your brand, even like, even rep where you're from as well, you know. I, I, I could definitely assume that a lot of eyes are on MK Leo, right? Oh yeah, yeah sure. Saw, solidified himself as the best in the world, so a lot of eyes on Mexico in terms of MK Leo. But you know, there's a lot of other very talented players. I, in my opinion, I think the most talented like countries in Smash are definitely like Japan and Mexico. And as an oh overall. yes, for sure. Yeah. I feel like Mexico is really, really talented. We actually have a lot of players like Chag, Javi, Nair. But the only issue is that we don't have that many sponsors like you guys have here. Right, right. Yeah. And all the tournaments are in the U.S., right? Exactly. So correct. you gotta get the passport, the visa, get the visa, get the get the resources to come up to there. Yeah. And it's just it can be really, really tough. And that's exactly. why you don't see that much. And but I'm so glad that you're able to get the resources and you're starting to make really big waves, especially in this season two. Season one, towards the end, you're starting to make that breakout. Yeah. And then season two, you came out swinging. You kept the momentum going. And I mean, doing it with a character like Game Watch so obscured, right? Yeah. Um, correct. It, and I, it's like some people can say people still don't know the matchup, but I still feel like you travel out enough to the point where I still feel like people know what they're watching out for. But yeah, exactly. you're still like your defense with the character is like phenomenal. I think that's like one of your best strengths. Your ledge trapping super good. Like you live with like you live with this character 150 plus like consistently. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah correct. And, and this character is so like. Light, you know, it, yeah. it's like it's like if Void played Pichu and just always got to 150. Exactly, yeah. that would be insane. So the thing is, 
Well, first of all, about the matchup, I'm used to people knowing the matchup already because, like, I've been dealing with that stuff since, like, Smash 4. Exactly. Because of my region. So if you guys, like, learn the matchup over here, um, I'm still going to know how to deal with it because right. I, I got to adapt to it. Right, right. And then uh, the thing about my defense is I actually think my defense is really bad. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I consider myself a very aggressive player, and sometimes I consider myself too aggressive to the point where I'm way too aggro, and I start applying a lot of pressure, but that same pressure that I apply comes back right at me. Because right. I'm way too aggressive, but like it's off good stage that, and stuff, like you yeah. really like your reach. Okay, okay. Yeah, but it's good that uh, I guess my defense is getting better. I guess. <laughs> I mean, in terms of like stock survivability, it's phenomenal. Oh like, yeah. You, you you even knew like when I was watching, I was like, okay, he's in up throw up air, and then you just every movement you did was to not get grabbed because right. like you know all the percentages of what you're gonna die from, and then like, you got rolled one time, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of all, like you played. Five, no, you played six, seven, seven games. games. Yeah. Seven games and you got roller once. That yeah. is very impressive. That I give it to Chag. Chag is an Inkling Palomain from Mexico. Right. He taught me the matchup so freaking well. Inkling is one of the matchups I know the best. Like nice, the best. Nice. So yeah. you're like very experienced with that. Yeah, matchup. I know about that stuff. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it, it definitely showed versus Cosmos, right? And it's, it's crazy because most people would think like, oh, you need to play like a... Because I, I would definitely consider Chag a top level player, mm -hmm. but... It definitely, I wouldn't say his inkling is as good as Cosmos, you know, in terms right. of results, right? Okay. But even even then, you still get all that experience and you get all that matchup yeah. knowledge and you can apply it to any level of play. Exactly, yeah. And the thing is, Chag, like, he studies a lot. Like, he studies the game a lot. So he, he like, theorizes a lot and he tells me, like, oh, you shouldn't do this in this situation. Oh, if you do this, you're going to get grabbed or something like that. Right, So right. I know how to deal with all those situations. Right, you kind of have it all, like, theorycrafted out to, like, yeah. the anti-grab game, the anti-roller game, and, like, every single one of these situations. Exactly. Which is why it looked like your survivability in that matchup was just crazy. Like, there was one stock you lived to 200. <laughs> Wait, did I? Yeah, you, or you, after the, after the hit. I mean, yeah, but after still. Hit, yeah, that's still crazy <laughs> with Game & Watch. Like, that. <laughs> Bonkers. Oh my god. Yeah, that's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. Give me one just Bowser, man. Yeah. 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 And I mean, it's it, the, the character. I mean, how do you. What do you think about Game Watch? Tier list wise. Tier list wise. I think he's. Top. 15, top 10. Top 10. Ten, wow, that's really high. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, because I, I just feel like. I think he has the best out of shield option in terms of just like consistency. And like damage output too, right? Yeah, right. And I, th I think one thing that's so good too is like after the up B up air, you can like up air again, but you're juggling without going up. Exactly. So you throw yeah. and so like you throw out another up air, but you land and you're like, oh, did that up air hit? No, he jumped. Okay, I'm gonna follow him. Yeah. Because you're right. not committing upward with with it. So like I just feel like those particular situations are so good, and then the, like Nair and up air are so good juggling tools because they're disjointed and stuff like that. It's just it's really really good. Yeah. Well. The thing about it is, someone was mentioning it when I fought um, MVD the first time. Um, the thing is, for example, in the snake matchup, I can juggle snake, but I don't have to put my hurt box in, like, I don't have to expose myself, you know? Right, right, because yeah, you're essentially doing it with a disjoint. Exactly, yeah, so it's good that the upper is like that, because I can juggle without me having to, like, be close to them. And you can pop his grenade. Like, <laughs> if, if you read a beer reverse or just a grenade pull, it's like, oh, like, I hit you with my upper, yeah. and you get hit by the grenade, and I don't trade with snake you. Snake is, like, the only character that gives my upper knockback. Like, he's the only one that will ever <laughs> die to it. Like, oh, my God. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. All right, so, well, I mean, congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank Phenomenal you, Phenomenal job. Did you have thank any uh, shout-outs or anything like that? Uh, well, just what I already said. I want to, like, just say it again. Just uh, my girlfriend, my parents, my entire family and friends watching back home in Mexico. It's, it's hard to travel, you know, like, from another country. Oh, yeah, Because, like, you, sure. you, you, you have to, like, stop seeing a lot of people for, like, a little bit of time. And even if it's, like, just three days, you miss them, you know? Or oh, at least yeah. I'm like that. I miss them Right, a lot. and then, well, there's the two days of traveling, too, right? So yeah. Like, so there's a three-day tournament, and then, then there's the days. day before you travel and the day after you're traveling. Exactly. So it's, like, really, it's, like, five days out of your week. That's yeah. Long. So for this one, it was just three because it's a one-day event. But still, for me, it's, like, eh. Yeah, I yeah. kind of don't want to be away from them. Right, But right. I know it's worth it in the end. And they support me, so it's good. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, Meister, so you got your ticket to Summit. So where will you send... <laughs> The great people of the chat. I don't know, man. We'll see. So, okay. Well, well, it's two GG stream. So you get, you gotta send them. Oh! Nah, hey. Hey. Right, 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 right. So where are we sending them? Where are we sending them? I don't know how it's called. <laughs> the skies. Oh, the skies, of course, bro. 